take this sign. Uh,
aunties and uncles, good afternoon. We have come here today to remember before God our sister, sister Mrs. Jocelyn Kennedy Yayada, to give thanks for her life, to commend Jocelyn to God, our merciful redeemer and judge, to commit her body to be buried and to comfort one another in grief. A warm welcome to St. Mary Magdalene Church, a special welcome to Jocelyn's immediate family. On behalf of the church, we extend our condolences to all of you here today. We give thanks for this day even more so as we journey through the presence of COVID-19. As we are unable to sing, let it not stop us from humming, listening, and rejoicing in the music today chosen by Jocelyn's family. Toilets and bathroom facilities are over there in the corner. We continue our service of thanksgiving for Jocelyn's life. Please be seated. Let us pray. Almighty God, you love everything you have made and judge us with infinite mercy and justice. We rejoice in your promises of pardon, joy and peace to all those who love you. In your mercy, turn the darkness of death into the dawn of new life and the sorrow of parting into the joy of heaven through our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who died, who rose again and lives forevermore. Amen. Amen. Our collect for today. Eternal God, our Maker and Redeemer, grant us, Jocelyn, and all the faithful departed the sure benefits of your Son's saving passion and glorious resurrection, that in the last day when we gather up all the things in Christ, we may with them enjoy the fullness of your promises through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We will now have our tribute from the family. May the first member of the family take the time and go up to the lectern. For each of those who come after, please could you sanitise the automatic machine. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for um, coming. It isn't um, we are here for sole purpose of one particular reason, our sweet mother, and this is a tribute, personal tribute um, from our dad, and that is Chumasi. Oh, 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 hmm. I've been a while so soon. You've left me behind. My pain, grief, and sorrows are unimaginable and beyond comprehension. You've been through together for 36 years. The good Lord chose you for me after many years of prayers, with tears, and fasting to find a kind, hearted, beautiful, all round, and above all, God fearing wife. All of a sudden, I heard a deep voice that you were the one, you were the chosen one. At that moment, I knew my prayers had been answered, and you truly live up to the expectations of the world's greatest wife with a heart like gold. And that's a true reflection of our mother. For over 36 years, Abuna has been my queen, a friend, comforter, and a prayer warrior. My queen, as I affectionately called you, where do I go from 
here now that you've left me. How do I even comprehend that you are gone? I know that I'm hurting deeply, but I take comfort that you are at, you are at peace and not in pain anymore. Seeing in pain for the last final months were unbelievably heart-wrenching moments in our lives. But your bravery and faith in God through those challenging times kept us through until your final breath. My un unimaginable pain and loss I am feeling now is as a result of losing my soulmate, companion and gatekeeper. However, I do know that heaven has gained another special angel, Angel Abrensa. Rest well, my love. Fair day, my queen, until you meet again. Good afternoon, everybody. 19th May is the day you took your first breath, and it's also the day that we lay you to rest. At now, 38 days ago, I saw life leave your body. And with that, you took a walk to my story. God gave us honor so we could 
know our true love and rekindle our bond once again. Amma, she restored us. I wanted a whole new life with you again. You wanted to take Amma to school and show everyone that your grandmother, she knows now that you're not around. And it's so painful. <laughs> so now, Friday, about wine and the fish and chips, man. Who will I tease? Who will me and Paya? We can Paya, but let me know. Then you tell us all stories about witches. Who's going to make me fufu at night? Before that man comes home. Now we will never frame him, but no. So they be a me beautiful. Mikai, before now, that the buy, they are me up You know, I've been out with you Hey, movie night, how you feel? Now, Auntie Constance, I'm Now, we secret to be a moody, see, a moody, a medicine. Not anti, not anti, not making noise. Am I? It ran away. Where's the food? Hmm. And then the house was always full. It was never silent. I missed the, I missed the old days. I'm a terrier. Only I'm a terrier. I'm only con 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 I gave birth to a child called Amma. Those days, you laughed more. We talked more about your dreams and aspirations. I thought we would have that bond forever. Even in the bad days that was born, there were still times that you stood strong for me. You fought for me. You remembered our struggles together. And no matter what, that I would always have you. You're always, you're always going to be my treasure, no matter what. Even if a certain person, certain person thinks you're spoiled or not worthy, me, I want you. Me, method still. Me, me here. Yeah. As it is written, hey, I'm not my mama may recite a Bible saying, I'm not. Your beauty should not come from outward adornment. Such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. For this is the way the holy woman of the past, who put hope in God, used to adorn themselves. Your essence will remain in Amman. And myself. I will pray for many more years with you. But I know it's not fair. I've been out of breath. So today, and then, and then, like the old time, say you sit at the throne beside your father. I look to you both to protect. I mean, I, we are your last legacy. Abna Suyem Kutayem Protect us. Minim said, there's dark days ahead. But Minim said, I have a warrior in you. So I'm not afraid. Jasi Besia. And they are I look to you. I love you. I will honor you both. Till we meet again. This is my farewell. Abuna, you can never be replaced. What's it? Obia, Obia is me, ma. Every place, you. What's it? Obia is me, ma. Every place, you. Oh, me.
those last words of the daughter's love letter. And we just hold that for a few moments before we continue. Um, a tribute to Mama Joyce from your siblings all from another world. Mama Joyce, our mother, as we affectionately call you, you were specially named Mama to be a mother to us all unconditionally. We love you and we will always love you for being there for all of us and mothering us throughout our childhood and even in our adulthood. Mama Joyce, little did we know that morning that God was going to call you the name. It broke our hearts to lose you. Our hearts are even shattered without having the chance to say fair dinner to you. Even though you are gone, you are not alone. As part of us have gone with you. Although God has called you home, you have left us with precious memories of which we will cherish for the rest of our lives. Your love for all will always be our guide. And though we cannot see you, you will always be by our side. And we take pride in our hearts that heaven has given another angel. Our family chain is broken and nothing seems the same. But we know soon and very soon we shall meet and the chain will link again. They refer to you, our beloved sister. They refer to you, Mama Joyce. Good afternoon, family, friends, sisters, auntie, grandmothers, niece and nephew. Today is one of the most saddest days. But I'm only here, I normally I don't go to funeral. But today I have no choice. I'm only here to say thank you on the behalf of my sister whom we call Mama Grace. As my elder brother said earlier on, we don't call her Mama Grace for no reason. We call her Mama Grace because she takes the footsteps of my mother. She wasn't the breadwinner of the family. She was a mother to us all, especially me and my little sister, Getty. She was the house servant in our house, even though she was the only queen among the family, the real queen, but she was the housemaid because she took the role of my mother to be there for all of us. And I thought that was it. Today, I'm only here to say thank you because she asked me to Thanks so many people. 
She had so many children. Most of us don't know. We only taught the Sony Kidra, but it's not. I can't mention all of them. Most of them I don't even know their name. But everybody knows. Especially to say thank you to Nanel Pia, Constance, so many of them. But I don't even know their name. Yvonne, Nana Trema, and some boys. I don't even know their name. There was one thing she did that was very wonderful. For not letting people see the pain she was going through. Even when she was in pain, she was so sure enough. She would cook for everybody, but not for herself. She would take all kinds of abuse and would not show it. But today, I am happy. Because her last days, you know, she was able to give her life to God. Neighbor 
Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for coming, and I'd like to say a special thank you to, to Deidre for allowing me to speak on her mum's behalf. Auntie Joyce was a second mother to all of us. She raised us like we were her own and shaped us into the men and women that we are today. Hers was a character that we must try to replicate in our adult lives. She was kindness personified, patient, and had a strong sense of generosity. My fondest recollection of Auntie Joyce is our walks down Trinity Road. We'd walk for what seemed an age to buy a phone card and sweets of my choice that I'd had from Deidre. As I've grown older, I've realised that those walks were an escape for both of us. She'd tell me stories about all the things she was going to do when she got rich, and I'd talk her through how I'd help her spend said riches. She'd remind me that as my godmother, she'd always be there for me and would encourage me to lean on her and God if I was ever in trouble. While we're devastated by the loss of a genuine and warm-hearted pillar of our family, we must take this opportunity to be joyful for the fact that she graced all our lives at one point or another. We must be thankful for all the good times we shared together and cherish the warm memories she blessed us with. Although we've lost a mother, sister, cousin, auntie, friend in the flesh, We've each gained the guardian angel for eternity. Rest in power and rejoice. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. <coughs> Auntie Joyce was an epitome of a hard working mom. She was a kind soul, a cotton, and an extra mom for those she cared for. Growing up, she had it next to all of us. She called Vanessa. Fear. She called me Auntie Silly and called this girl Mummy Rory, which is her own way of revealing to everyone that they were special to her. Through Auntie Joyce, I became extremely familiar with African movies. She had a whole collection and I constantly remember looking forward to Friday nights when we would all huddle and watch the latest edition of her collection. Auntie Joyce was a relatively patient and loving woman. And this is because of her benevolence and her hospitality that we're all gathered here today as a family to celebrate her life. Our previous encounter with Auntie Joyce is something we still alive and treasure for the rest of our lives. Deidre had just given birth to Riley, so we decided to visit Auntie Joyce to greet her and the baby. It was just like old times. Auntie Joyce was still as funny and as loud as we remembered. We rehashed her the old times, she cooked for us, and I even braided her hair for her. Auntie Joyce is someone whose legacy will continue to guide us. Even though she's gone, she has left the memories of her love and perseverance where everyone who knew and adored her. You must remember the body is only temporary. Her soul will continue to guide all of us. She is resting well. We love you, Mama Joyce. Thank you.
May the Lord do with me, be it ever so severely, if anything but death separates you and me. This is the word of the Lord. We will now hear our hymn, Abide With Me. in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. For 50 earthly years, Jocelyn Yayadam was passionate for God. Her journey in life was a road that truly her daughter, Deidre, can be proud of. Today is the anniversary of the day that Jocelyn was born. Although we are saying goodbye, this is her homecoming with her Redeemer. And we commemorate this day, not without sorrow and not without joy. Moments ago, as I walked to the altar, I said the words from the Gospel of John, I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. 
we are reminded that death is not the end. Those rich memories that we have heard from family members and within the pamphlet are embodied with love. They convey a journey of life that truly reflects a woman of God who was passionate and dedicated to her family, who took on all challenges in life and left an example not just to be remembered or admired, but a foundation to be built on. Jocelyn leaves a legacy built on selflessness, commitment, truth, tradition, wisdom, and heart, an abundantly generous heart. Jocelyn approached life with a spirit of being kind beyond measure. I will say that again, kind beyond measure. That spirit of generosity, she was sure to deliver to all who she knew. Let's reflect on those weekends in her home. They would be full of children. And the Psalm 127 reminds us that children are the heritage of the Lord. Jocelyn knew that children were a gift from God. She rejoiced in them as much as they rejoiced in her. She truly counted her blessings of all the children in her life. And once her granddaughter, Riley Hammer's arrival into the world, it gave Jocelyn true joy and a sign of God's witness of love, grace, and mercy. Jocelyn, we hold you in memory as a daughter, a wife, a mother, grandmother, sister, auntie, friend, God's beloved. On this day, we celebrate you in the glory of God. As we reflect on the passage from the Bible of Ruth, Death is not the end. Death is part of the journey of life. As we leave this world, we journey to another world to be with our Redeemer. As Ruth says to her mother-in-law, Naomi, where you go, I will go. Deidre, your mother has a deep faith in her God. And I pray that you will follow in her footsteps of faithfulness and entrust your life to the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy, Lord of life, you have made us in your image to reflect your truth and light. We give you thanks for Jocelyn, for the grace and mercy you bestowed for all that was good in her life. We give you thanks for the memories we treasure today. You promised eternal life to those who believe. Remember for good your faithful, beloved Jocelyn, as we also remember her. Leave her in your care, confidently knowing promises of eternal life. Help us to turn this darkness of death into a promise of hope and life everlasting. Bring all those who have gone before us and now your child Jocelyn into the fullness of your kingdom. Gracious Lord, surround all who mourn on this day. Look in mercy on our sisters and brothers here before you. 
when grief seems never ending, embrace them in your love. Show them a glimpse of your light in the darkness and may they find some joy in the memories and love that Jocelyn gives them. Risen Lord, you do not leave us alone in life nor abandon us in death. Out of the depths of despair, we cry to you. We ask you that you hear our voice and have mercy on us. God of mercy, entrusting into your hands all that you have made, and in by your resurrection through Christ, we rejoice in our communion with all the saints and the departed. So we make these prayers for your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Friends and family, I invite you to join me in saying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Mr. Franklin, could I ask you to gently take the flowers? from the coffin for me, please. Just the flowers. Friends, family, aunties, uncles, we will now prepare to entrust Jocelyn to God with a commendation and farewell. After, I would like to offer us all a blessing and then we will depart. Please remain in your seats until you are guided safely from the church. Let us stand. Let us commend Jocelyn to the mercy of God, our maker and redeemer. Heavenly Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, is the firstborn from the dead. We believe that he will raise up the bodies of his faithful people to be like his in glory. We commend Jocelyn to your mercy and pray that as you gather her to yourself, you will give to us your blessing of peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who died and rose again to save us and is now alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit in glory forever. Amen. Shortly after I offer a blessing 
we will hear some music. I would like us just to hold a pause together to embrace that music and honour this time before we depart from the church. May God, in his infinite love and mercy, bring the whole church, living and departed in the Lord Jesus, to a joyful resurrection and fulfilment of his eternal kingdom. Amen. Come on, 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 come on,
Thank you. 